What's up guys, Dr. Feel Good here, back again with another video prescription. And today's topic is one I've spoken to at length about before, but once again, we have another third party doing the exact same BS. What am I talking about? The Mega Man X collection coming to the Switch. Now, let me just say that I'm happy the game is coming. But on the flip side of that, I don't think I will be supporting this game. Here's why. I'm sick and tired of the half and half BS that we Switch owners have had to endure from these terror parties. What do I mean? By half and half, I mean they're releasing a physical game and half of it must still be downloaded, which makes no damn sense whatsoever. Let me give you a few examples in the past. LA Noir required a 14 gigabyte download for a physical copy of the game. No excuse. I don't want to hear it. Doom, same thing. When the game was announced and they gave us more details, they said that, hey, for the physical version, the single player campaign is on the cartridge. The multiplayer mode is a 10 gigabyte optional install. I didn't like that either, but I said, okay, you know, that, that's an improvement. Come to find out that later on, that wasn't optional. It is required. Look at the back of the box. That 10 gigabyte download is required, whether or not you have any interest in the multiplayer mode. So I did not buy it. Even though they eventually added in gyro controls, which is another reason why I did not buy that game, I decided not to buy it. No. No. And there are a couple other examples as well. Um, uh, NBA 2K18, but... The one I'm talking about today is Mega Man X Collection. So the X um, part one of the collection, which I think is X1 through X4, is on the physical cartridge. Part two of the collection, which if I, I could be wrong, but I think it's X5 through X8, is not on the cartridge. It is a mandatory install. That's complete BS. I don't get behind that. So more than likely, I would not be buying this game. I want to, but I'm not. And I'm not going to buy it on any console. I have an Xbox One S and a PS4 Slim. Still not going to buy it because I wanted to get it on my Switch because I can play it at work and anywhere else. But, hey, I'm not going to be buying all these games that essentially require you to get an SD card to eat up your internal memory. Don't care. I don't support that. There is no excuse as to why they needed to put these old ass games in this format to, you know, to split them up the way they did. There's no excuse. Breath of the Wild is over 13 gigabytes, single cartridge. Mario Rabbit on a single cartridge. There are indie games that sprung for cartridges which their entire game fits. Cinemora, that's one of them. I, I'm not understanding. So to me, there's no excuse. And with in to add insult to injury, I believe the second portion of the collection contains the of course the later games that appeared on PS2 and uh, various other systems, and they're actually bigger. So the, the the digital footprint of those games is larger than the first portion. You would think that they want to put the second portion on the cartridge if nothing else and you download the smaller portion but nope and let's be honest this entire collection can be put on a single 8 gig cartridge they're just being cheap so to me completely unacceptable I'm not going to support this crap same way I feel about Doom if Bethesda and you know ever decides to put the game 
on a single cartridge, I'll pick it up. Same thing with L.A. Noir. I'm not picking it up until it ends up on a single cartridge. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Because as I said, I'm tired of this half and half BS. But tell me your thoughts. And as I always say, keep it gaming. Peace.